One of the downsides of Fames is dealing with plastic surgery rumors and obviously it's something Haley had to deal with. It's so disappointing that people still behave this way. So let's take a peek. In between your teens and adult years, your face can change a lot. This is a super cute throwback. Haley, just 12 years old, strutting the red carpet with her dad, Stephen Baldwin. She grew up in the spotlight, so she's always had that confident vibe. At 14, Haley's already rocking her signature feature killer cheekbones and flawless skin. Most teens are still finding their style, but Haley's already slaying the game. I personally had major beauty mishaps at this age. What about you guys? I had a super weird hairstyle. This is from Haley's first ever runway show as a model. She was only 15 years old, but the smoky eye makeup, fake tan, bleached blonde hair, and stiff curls make her look far more mature. She also grew out her eyebrows. To be honest, this wasn't my favorite look. As her modeling career took off, her style got an upgrade as well. Here she has more realistic looking blonde highlights and she ditched the spray tan for her natural dewy skin. Also notice the glowy finish before this was a trend, gorgeous. In 2014, she went back to a brighter, lighter, solid blonde color. And this look is giving me Ivanka Trump. But that's not the only thing that's changed. Fans are accusing her of getting work done on her nose and plumping her upper lip with filler. What do you guys think? Here is her nose before, full round tip. Here is her nose now. Haley, is that you? For a brief moment in 2015, she went dark brunette. In fact, it's the exact same shade of color chocolate brown she returned to recently after years of being blonde. What do you guys think of this look? By 2016, the media had declared her part of the new generation of supermodel, along with her pals Gigi Hadid and Kendall Jenner with neatly braided hair, glowing skin. It's an early peak of her clean girl aesthetic. Love, love, love. I wanna be strong. At some point between 2016 and 2018, Justin and Haley parted ways. But rather than sulking at home, she stepped it up with more frequent red carpet appearances, solidifying her transition from model to bonafide it girl. With bombshell waves, sultry eyeliner, freshly plumped lips, you might call this her revenge look. Only weeks before rekindling her romance with Justin, she was the talk of the town in canes with pink hair. She was also accused of plumping up the volume of her lips to go with it. A few months later, just days before tying the knot, Haley went from bob to long hair. She admitted to having extensions in and naturally thin hair. It's a really pretty look on her, I think. In fall 2021, Haley rocked this darker hair color on Instagram and then paired it with an equally dark lip on the red carpet. She said, I'm in a phase where I feel more beautiful and confident than ever before just by letting my real skin and show and my natural hair grow. This natural look is stunning on her. Clearly Haley likes life as a brunette because she's kept up with the color ever since. She's definitely suits the dark hair in my opinion. Meanwhile, she's been wearing less makeup than before, perhaps because she now has her own skincare brand to promote with bare dewy skin as its signature. Out of all the celebrities before and afters that we've documented, Kylie's is the most dramatic. The feature said to have changed the most, her lips. In this photo, Kylie was just 10 years old. This shot was taken in 2008. So cute, and look at those freckles. By the time she turned 13, Kylie was experimenting with age-appropriate makeup. If only my attempts as a teen looked this good. Hey, what's going on, girl bosses? Okay, if you're building your YouTube channel, you need one click. Just think of it as your bestie that handles all the boring content stuff. If you need to turn that long video into snappy TikToks or Reels, the blog posts, the social media captions, this AI does it all and gets your style. Guys, honestly, it's how we exploded our views at FTD News. 2,000% more, no joke. Creator burnout is the worst, and one click fights that. Imagine having more time for the fun stuff, filming, editing, connecting with your audience. At this moment, you guys can get 50% off one click with my link below. It's gonna be your secret weapon for building that channel and a life you love. Click and let's get this content party started. I love the eyeliner along her lower water lines and the bold blush and the clear glossy lips. She always had good lashes, no extensions needed. Your lips look amazing. Really? Yeah. I almost said they were too big yesterday. Isn't she the splitting image of her dad here? It's all in the smile, so that's where I think she got her naturally thinner lips. But it was around this time that they were becoming an insecurity. I had really small lips and I didn't ever think about it until I had one of my first kisses she explained on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. And a guy said to me, oh my God, you're such a good kisser, but you have such small lips or something like that. From then on, I felt unkissable. One of my first kisses and a guy said to me, oh my God, you're such a good kisser, we have such small lips. From then on, I felt unkissable. As Keeping Up With The Kardashians soared in popularity, Kylie began adopting the same fashion and beauty aesthetic as her older sisters. She started wearing her hair silky straight and parted down the middle with a spray tan and natural makeup. 
So far, it looks like she hasn't had any work done to her face at this point. It wasn't long before she got into makeup in a big way, rocking a signature look that was entirely her own. To this day, she still likes to do this very heavy matte base with a lighter shade across the mid face. Of course, the spray tan is even deeper and we can also see the beginning of her Instagram brows. She chose to do a vampy lip with this look. By the end of the year, Kylie apparently discovered lip liner. To me, it looks like she drew outside her lips, especially on the bottom one, to create the illusion of fullness. And she's pretty good at it. For sure, I think my love for makeup started with my insecurity with my lips. She's also sporting longer lashes and in case you missed it, reddish balayage highlights through the ends of her hair. At age 16, she stepped out with a completely different look. The first thing you notice is the hair. It's dyed black, just like Kim and Courtney, and freshly chopped to her collarbone. So this is around the time that people started to accuse Kylie of getting some filler in her lips. They weren't overdone at all. They look very natural here. Kylie didn't just stop there. Her lips kept on growing. Here, she's wearing a similar dark lipstick shade to what we saw in 2013, but the increase in size couldn't be more obvious. Keep in mind that she was still trying to pass this off as lip liner alone, even getting her makeup artist, Rob Sheppy, in on the act. In 2015, she famously admitted to getting lip injections. In a clip from the show, she revealed that she had temporary lip fillers and it's just something she wanted to do. Before that, she was widely criticized for suggesting that her fuller look was only makeup and overlining her lips. But over the years, her looks have changed quite a bit. So it's speculated that she might have done a bit more. After finally fussing up to the lip filler, she no longer had to disguise her lips under dark lipstick and lip liner. Instead, she could rock lighter looks, just like this one, as a counterpoint to the Cleopatra-inspired hair and eye makeup. With pretty pink lipstick and hair held high in a ballerina bun, she didn't look so extreme for this appearance in 2017. At this time, people were accusing her of getting cheek filler and also saying she might have gotten some surgery on her nose, but she is a makeup artist and it could just potentially all be contour. So in this photo, Kylie is just 21 years old, but her appearance changed quite a bit. Could be a bit of maturing, but we suspect that she might have had a bit more filler. I loved this look on Kylie. Her skin looks natural and her features look soft and pretty. Whatever Kylie has chosen to do to her face, ultimately it's her business. She's beautiful. Celebrities that might have gone over the top with plastic surgery. Kim Kardashian. From her to her face, Kim has been accused of everything, even once getting her x-ray to prove to people that she hasn't had anything done. Dr. David Schaefer said in a statement he made to US Weekly that it's impossible to know what kind of aesthetic treatment she did, but it gave her a softer and more refined beauty. The fuller appearance of her cheeks indicate that she is using a product, however, she has a fuller look around her eyes as well. The plump eye area gives Kim a smooth and youthful appearance. David also stated that there may be skin filling on her lips. He also said that a tightening and a thermal treatment was performed along her chin and neckline that made her cheeks look deeper. In addition to all of these, it is possible to say that makeup, which is one of the elements that contribute to most of Kim's current beauty, has evolved into a more sophisticated and professional form. Donatella Versace. Donatella Versace is an iconic fashion visionary, celebrated for her bold designs and unparalleled influence in shaping luxury fashion. Out of Versace in the 21st century, how to keep Versace relevant? She was on celeb faces list as people that they suspect that went overboard with plastic surgery. A doctor analyzed her face to dailymail.com in 2014 and he was convinced that she had quite a lot of work done. He said her skin is very shiny, which is a symptom of too much Botox and laser resurfacing used to smooth the skin. Another doctor told Hollywood Life she pretty much had it all. Botox, fillers, lasers for the skin, facelift, and eyes and brow lift. Either way, Donatella is one of the most iconic women to walk the planet. Sylvester Stallone, who was another that was featured in Celeb Faces' recent roundup, showcasing a remarkably smooth complexion. In 1992, he openly discussed undergoing surgery to lift half his face before filming Rocky because of nerve damage from birth. At the time, he made it clear he was a fan of plastic surgery, adding, why not do it? You have body work done on your car. Since then, he has seemingly received more enhancements. In 2017, a plastic surgeon theorized he had a facelift to closer weekly. Sylvester Stallone definitely looks like he's had some work done. His strong jawline and tight neck look like they've been maintained with a well-performed lower facelift, he said. He's also had an upper and lower eyelid lift and brow lift that really gives everything away. Former One Direction member Liam Payne has been in the hot seat recently thanks to his change in appearance. The singer left his fans shocked when he attended an event and looked drastically different. Many people believed he had undergone a buccal fat removal after they noticed his extremely chiseled jaw. Pamela Weinberger, founding injector at Plump Cosmetics, told Page Six afterwards that she believed he likely did the procedure, but added that he might have also had jawline filler, lip filler, chin filler, and Botox injected in his face. Simon Cowell. 
Simon's very taut looking face has sparked huge concern from fans in recent years and prompted a flurry of speculation about what cosmetic procedures were behind his seemingly ageless appearance. Back in April 2022, he admitted he went too far with Botox while vowing to be done with cosmetic procedures. Simon admitted to The Sun that his obsession with injectables left him unrecognizable and something out of a horror show. And he even claimed his drastically changing looks resulted in his eight-year-old son Eric breaking down in hysterics. There was a phase where everyone was having their faces pumped full of this and the other, he said. I saw a picture of me from before the other day and didn't recognize it as me, first of all. At the time, Simon, who shared his son with partner Laura Silverman, revealed that he no longer had any filler in his face. Good for you, Simon. Justin Jedlicka. He had famously dubbed himself as the human Ken doll and also made it into celeb faces list. He had more than 1,000 cosmetic procedures over 20 years and has spent over 1 million in an attempt to make himself look like the child's toy. Hey! The man, the man. No way. How you doing, boys? Good to see you. I love all. that muscle shirt. He insisted that his body modifications are a form of art and that he's motivated by creativity rather than being unhappy with his looks. He began altering his looks at age 17 and now prides himself on being the most modified man in the world. Amanda Lepore. Lepore flaunts her extreme plastic and reconstructive surgeries as her life's work. The trans star began transitioning right at 15 years old. Her transition includes a long silicone paved road. Lepore went from being a kid obsessed with Marilyn Monroe to being the toast of Manhattan. She makes a living performing burlesque, modeling, singing, and hosting. She received multiple breast augmentation, implants, rib surgery to make her waist appear smaller. However, Lepore is transparent about the process. Instead of looking like the girls who bullied her when she was young, she decided to look like a movie star. Lepore took command of her aesthetic goals. Her look demonstrates how obvious and plenty her plastic surgeries are. The world labeled her as the most expensive body in the room for this reason. Lepore had surgery on almost every part of her body that can be altered. Corey Spellings admitted to previously getting her nose and boobs done to People Magazine. So you've had implants for about 20 something years. Yes. And you finally decided that it is a good idea for you get to get them replaced. Right. But in 2021, speculation started to arise that she had received more cosmetic surgeries after people started to brand her as unrecognizable. However, Tori insisted that she had nothing else done and that the change in her appearance was thanks to makeup. I protested and I said, they're absolutely not. And then I was like, well, I have had kids, I've gained weight. Okay, okay, fine. Even so, a plastic surgeon told Page Six at the time that he was definitely convinced she had gone back under the knife. He said she definitely did her nose again, 100%. He also theorized that she had a facelift due to her clean, tight, and rejuvenated jawline, as well as an eyebrow lift. Oh my God, I never do anything for myself. So so uh, this is like on my grown up Christmas list. He said, she's probably working out and in great shape too, so all that helps, but she definitely had some things done to her face. Melanie Griffith. This beauty was highlighted on Celeb Face's list of stars who overdid their plastic surgery. I didn't realize it had gone too far until people started saying, oh my God, what has she done? She told Porter Magazine. I was so hurt, I went to a different doctor and he started dissolving all of this stuff that the other doctor had put in. Hopefully I look more normal now. It made me want to do this very badly, and I thought it was um, a great challenge to play that part, to, to play. While Melanie didn't detail what she had done, she did explain to the outlet that she had her first surgery 20 years prior. She said to them she started doing more injections in 2010. After analyzing photos of her over the years, a plastic surgeon said he believed she had received Botox injections, cheek implants, an eyebrow lift, facelift, and lip augmentation. It would be a good way to sort of get that out of my mind. Have you seen Renee Zellweger's new look? Back in 2014, she showed up to a Hollywood party and people started tripping out. They barely even recognized her. The tabloids were saying that she got some work done, but she just said that she's been taking better care of herself and she was looking more peaceful. Renee Zellweger, she doesn't really pay attention to internet gossip though because she's not on social media, so she doesn't see any of these speculations about her look. But you know, she did hear some strangers talking about her looks one time and it was a little hurtful to her, but she didn't let that get to her. Okay, check it out. So here's Lil' Kim. People have been saying that she's had some kind of work done, but her team says that, no, it's just these blogs on the internet trying to get some attention. But you know, I'm no plastic surgeon and all, but come on guys, she's had some work done. In the past though, Lil' Kim had admitted to getting a nose job. This was after her abusive boyfriend ended up breaking her nose. Everybody's familiar with the name Priscilla Presley, but she looks a lot 
different nowadays. Apparently she had went to an unlicensed plastic surgeon and it turned out that he was using industrial grade silicone from Argentina. And from the beginning, this whole thing was a mess and the surgeon actually ended up going to prison. But Priscilla Presley and some other high profile clients had to live with the effects for the rest of their lives. When it comes to Khloe Kardashian, it seems like she's always changing up her look, right? People are always speculating that is it surgery? Is it just a filter on Instagram? Is it both? Like what's going on here with her? She's admitted in the past to using filters and even got a nose job though, but she's been getting some backlash over her now altered appearance. She even joked about it on her Instagram saying, Mary God bless your filter. Madonna also looks completely different, but she is not here for any any shade at all. This was after she got a whole lot of negative backlash after the 2023 Grammys and she hit up the gram and she posted a message shutting down all of her haters. So I guess that's that guys. Madonna, she's confident in her look and she doesn't need anybody to tell her otherwise. In a relatively recent TikTok video, Ariana Grande who has recently collaborated with the cosmetic brand Ram Beauty appeared in her own home and in the video she wore a pink tank top in one clip and a white hoodie in another with her hair pulled back in a ponytail revealing her neck and facial features. I've been doing my homework and I want to talk to you about something. Do you think your eyes are a little too smoky for every day? Yeah, I'm going through a phase. Is that okay with you? Sure. Okay. So fans, when they saw this, they expressed both confusion and surprise about Ariana Grande's physical well-being as she appeared noticeably paler than usual and appeared to have a much slimmer physique. So the video definitely sparked a whole lot of discussion and theories about her health. Like what's going on, Ariana? What's going on behind the scenes here? Marriage problems and numerous other theories about her personal life. And while Ariana rarely addresses these types of rumors, it looks like the recent speculations about her weight loss really affected her. Now, in the caption of her TikTok video, Ariana Grande attributed her significant transformation to her new makeup routine. And this is what she wrote. Who else knows the feeling? Makeup makes all the difference, but we'll never get enough of the at the borderline eyeliner marker or lip pencil. So when some fans saw this, they began to comment about her appearance with one fan saying this. Every time I see pictures of this woman, she looks different. Used to look good, said another fan. And then there was even one fan that commented this. Someone said she looks AI generated. Wow. Okay, so a whole lot of chatter online definitely expressed concerns about Ariana's well-being. And although Ariana did respond to people saying that this is actually the healthiest she's been, many of her fans just don't believe her. She said that before she was on antidepressants and just because she looks like this doesn't mean that she's not healthy. There's different forms of healthy and all that. But hey, fans were just like, ah, not buying it. Especially now with rumors of her husband Dalton Gomez cheating on her. There's a whole lot of speculation about Ariana Grande and Dalton Gomez's marriage that has come up recently. Well, semi-recently, but either way, there's a lot of rumors circulating about the potential divorce that they're headed towards. Speculation, he's hitting up clubs and meeting other women while Ariana is away. And people are saying that this is causing Ariana a whole lot of stress and that's affecting her health. So that's one possibility. Like, um... Like just being there for each other and like helping each other through. The doctors have spoken out surrounding Taylor Swift's plastic surgery. Taylor Swift have facial plastic surgery. What procedures has Taylor had going on behind the scenes? Let's dive into it because there is a lot to unpack here. Taylor Swift really had plastic surgery. The rumor is about a Taylor Swift chest enhancement. Taylor Swift, beautiful, subtle breast augmentation. Just compare 2012 to today. And apparently life and style magazine saw some suspicious enhancements back in 2019, right after Twitter, rest in peace Bluebird, went wild over a photo of Taylor rocking a dress that dipped lower than the Titanic. The Twitter user showed side-by-side -side images of Taylor appearing to have a much flatter chest just a couple of years earlier. But you can make up your own mind. Here's Taylor back in 2010 
and just look at her now. The user also claimed that her chest enhancement was the best in the history of Hollywood, likely because the change was so subtle. The Life & Style magazine asked a board certified plastic surgeon about the claims surrounding this claim, to which Dr. Norman Rowe replied, Taylor Swift had a chest enhancement. That is the only explanation. What I do as a plastic surgeon is allow the patient's inner beauty to come out. It's more than just the superficial. Another plastic surgeon commented on the fact that he is convinced Taylor had chest augmentation surgery as recently as in 2022. Dr. Mark Everett, a highly rated plastic surgeon based in New York City, was interviewed by the Daily Mail. And in the article, Everett claimed that Taylor Swift actually received a modest implant back in 2012. He claimed that she received a second procedure in 2022. Of course, these are merely accusations, but he claimed claims that a small triangular shaped mark on her chest proves it. Another rumor regarding Taylor Swift possibly getting plastic surgery on her face came from a plastic surgeon on TikTok. His name? Dr. Anthony Yoon. Anthony Yoon claims that Taylor Swift got a brow lift, an upper eyelid surgery, rhinoplasty, and lip fillers. As there were no obvious signs Swift had any plastic surgery on her face before she was 22 years old in 2011, well I don't know about Yoon, but I'm feeling 22. <laughs> Moving on! Dr. Yoon commented on the fact that once she turned 23, Taylor Swift's face did look like it was getting a bit leaner, and some people have recently accused her of undergoing a fat pad removal to help narrow and thin her cheeks. And while Taylor has not commented on any plastic surgery procedures, accusations around this time included Taylor Swift received lip injections. However, Dr. Yoon believes that this was simply lip lining and not injections. As for rhinoplasty and the changes to Swift's nose following her disappearance from the public stage in 2017, Dr. Yoon believes it is possible that she had a nose job, as he agreed with rumors that Taylor's nose looked a little shorter and a little bit more refined. On top of this, it is rumored that Taylor Swift now wears veneers. And for those of you, like myself, who had no idea what a veneer was until now, it's a dental operation where the patient's teeth get filed down to the brim, and then fake teeth are implemented on top. Once again, I couldn't imagine what it would be like being the doctor who's in charge of that procedure for Taylor Swift. And rumors first began after Taylor publicly chipped her tooth back in 2013. And after this tooth was fixed, her smile seemed more perfect than ever. Some fans believe that her teeth are now completely fake, and veneers are the reason why. Taylor appeared on the red carpet for the first time at 16. Looking at her roots, it seems like she may have already been lightening her dark blonde hair already. But it's safe to assume that everything else here is natural, including her curly hair texture and her facial features. Then, Taylor got really into the spiral curls for a while, except for the bangs. The bangs always had to be straighter. She wasn't the only one embracing this trend in her age group. Ashley Tisdale and Bella Thorne did versions of it too. How do you guys feel about the curly haired look? And how we don't have a even as a teen, Taylor always had gorgeous skin. Here, you can appreciate it even more with her curls pulled up off her face and their color deepened to her natural dark blonde. Even under the heavy eye makeup, you can see that her eyes had a different shape. Here, they're not as wide open. Next came the ringless area. She often wore them in updos like this one, along with her usual false lashes and pink lip gloss. Once again, observe her nose shape, which seems wider and how little lid space she has for eye makeup. As her star power grew, she was 20 years old, and by the time Taylor obviously began relying on the services of a professional styling team, so instead we got pretty but safe makeup. We already got slightly edgier looks like this one with straightened hair and dramatic eyeliner. I, left them there to die. I love this look on her, long and straight with bangs, and this is also when she first got into red lips and black lip liner, which remains her go-to makeup to this day. The red lipstick was a fixture throughout 2012 and was probably part of the branding for her red album which was released that same year. I feel like Taylor really found her signature look at this point with the bangs and long waves. She looks girly yet glam. I absolutely love this look on Taylor. She looks stunning. Less of an American sweetheart vibe and more of a rock star vibe. So around this time, people were speculating that Taylor had a surgery. Not on her face, but on her chest. She's the biggest recording artist in the world, and people are accusing her of having had plastic surgery. In 2014, Taylor cut her hair shorter, and she continued to wear it straight, but apparently not by choice. From birth, I had the curliest hair, and now it is straight, she later explained. It's a straight hair I wished for every day in junior high, but just as I was coming to terms with loving my curls, they've left me. 
She also experimented with her boldest eye makeup yet. Looks super cute. She looks like a real superstar here in graphic liner and perfectly smooth, shiny hair. But if you look closely at her eyes, you'll notice they seem more open to say 2007. And around this time, people were speculating that she had some type of plastic surgery around her eye area. What do you guys think? Taylor gradually eased up in the dramatic eye makeup and went back to her favorite cat eyes with red lipstick. And so whatever tweaks she made to her eye area, if she did any, went completely unnoticed. Instead, we were all talking about her new chin length bob with bangs. So this look was shocking to many. It wasn't my favorite Taylor look. She experimented with bleach blonde hair and tan skin. And although she looked cute, I think she suits her other looks more. What do you guys think? The platinum hair didn't last long, thankfully. Taylor disappeared from the public eye for all of 2017. This is what she looked like when she returned. Notice anything different? Many people have speculated that at this point she had her nose done. I don't know, it looks pretty natural, but it could be a bit slimmer. It could also be makeup. For this look, she stepped out in full-fledged glam. The bangs and red lipstick are ever-present, but she experimented with an edgier aesthetic by adding crystal-studded cat eyes to match her sparkly dress. In between her airs tour dates, she walked in the VMAs, red carpet, in a new hairstyle that some called a foam mullet. She also dialed up the drama with bolder cat eyes and lots of warm blush. She's a girly girl through and through. This was during the 2024 red carpet awards season. And although music events are more her domain, she stole the show in an attention grabbing green gown and glossy voluminous hair in those eyes. Megan has changed since the beginning of her rise to fame. A lot has changed since she got involved with Prince Harry and became the most Googled person in 2016 and a second time in 2018. Hello. I got a big thumbs up. I appreciate that. Prior to dating Prince Harry, she was best known for her role in Suits, running a lifestyle blog, and doing charity work. And now, at 40 years old, she's become a global celebrity style icon in Force for Change after joining and then leaving the British royal family. We already know that most stars in pursuit of fame get a cosmetic procedure or two along the way. So you have to wonder, would Megan be any different? It's not taking anything away from you. It's just helping more people succeed. I think that's really key. Let's take a closer look at her beauty evolution over the years to see if anything has changed. Megan has always been a cutie, but when she was young, you can see that she clearly got some dental work and probably some help with her eyebrows. Such an adorable kid. This pic is courtesy of Catherine McPhee, who revealed on Instagram that the pair did musicals together as kids. Megan probably would have been around 15 or 16 here, according to an interview Catherine did with People. She was actually in my sister's class two years older than me. My sister did shows with her. I did two shows with her when I was a seventh grader or eighth grader. Clearly, Catherine took one for the team because the photo suggests that both of them might have altered their noses. Everything is temporary to really just enjoy. Fast forward to 2011, 30 year old Megan had just landed her big break on suits after years of minor roles, including a gig as a deal or no deal briefcase model. While she used to wear heavy liner and lipstick in the 90s, she replaced it with glowy makeup and an auburn tint through her brunette hair. Rumors flew at this point she had surgery to alter her nose. By 2012, she had become a full-fledged redhead, wearing her naturally curly hair in the PC waves that were on trend at the time. It's so pretty with the pink blush and lipstick and what would quickly become her signature smoky eyes. She also decided to grow out her eyebrows a bit. In 2013, Megan walked the red carpet, styled just like the Duchess that she would later become, even though she was still years away from meeting Prince Harry. This look is definitely more mature, and it suited her beautifully. I'm just very excited. Rumors were flying at this time that she had another nose alteration. In 2014, she styled her hair in a similar updo and kept the darker hair color. But with more skin on display and a lighter touch on the makeup, the vibe is much more fresh. Revisiting her eyebrows, they're super thick and luscious. At this point, people were pointing out that her brows were sitting a bit lower and accusing her of getting Botox. Either way, she looked radiant. I was a huge fan of this look. For her final red carpet appearance as Meghan Markle the actor, she upped the drama with deep red lipstick, bold eyeliner, and long dark hair. She didn't pile on the foundation, instead showing off her natural freckles. While her lips do look bigger here, it caused some people to accuse her of getting lip injections. But in my opinion, it just looks like maybe she overlined her lips. More than 29 million households tuned in from across the world to watch her marry Harry in 2018. For her big day, she went with her most low-key beauty look yet. Glowing natural skin, matte pink lips, subtly shaded eyes, and a simple low bun. She also reversed direction with her eyebrows, having them a bit more thin and perfectly shaped. Royal life must have suited Megan well, because in this photo, I think she looks more beautiful than ever. Having an A-list glam squad on call makes all the difference, as every little detail is just better now. Think, chic cat eyes, soft but full brows, 
seamless blush, and a face framing 60s inspired updo. Gorgeous. There's no denying that Megan looks different compared to when she was a teen, but as we age, our faces change. Can we just talk about plastic surgery? I'm just gonna go through all the things that I've done. Megan Fox has recently decided to be open and honest about all of the cosmetic procedures she's gotten. She came completely clean on the Call Her Daddy podcast. While Megan listed all of the procedures she's had done over the years, there's one elusive surgery she still can't get. I feel like there's this stigma. I'm hoping it sets some people free. Megan sat down with the host, Alexandra Cooper, to discuss everything from her childhood to her on-again, off-again engagement with Machine Gun Kelly. Whatever daddy says. She said she had her chest done conservatively between the first and second Transformers movie. She said she had to get them fixed again due to an issue, and she also admitted to having her nose done in her early 20s. Some people have accused her of having multiple rhinoplasty surgeries, but she said that she's only had one and chooses to use contour makeup to make her nose look smaller. It's been well over a decade. I haven't, I've not touched my nose since then. She also admitted to using Botox and filler. Founder and creator of FTD News, Leroy Kenton said in an interview with a publication, what's with some of these celebrities acting like we can't see that they modified their body? We have eyes. These are just some of the surgeries that Megan Fox has admitted to. Understandably, she might be uncomfortable sharing everything she's had done to her body, but like Kylie Jenner, I think it's a matter of time before Megan admits to having the surgeries that we all know she's had. In my opinion, there's nothing wrong with making changes to your body. It's your body do whatever you want, but what's with all the lying? Just own it. In admitting all the surgeries she did have, she also spoke out about the surgery she has not had. She said she has never gotten a facelift of any kind. No mid facelift, no like lateral brow lift. She said she's never done threads because she's worried that if she does, she might need a facelift in the future and it might interfere. She said she's never had a brow lift, though she admits she would love to, or buccal fat removal. She also said she's never had any liposuction or body contouring. She said she would be so flattered if anybody accused her of having a Brazilian behind lift but it's something she's never done. She said she doesn't have enough fat on her body because they can't take fat from your stomach and add it onto your behind. Megan said if she ever did go through with the grueling recovery from the Brazilian behind lift procedure, she'd want her booty results to be large and in charge. I'm gonna walk through a park and I'm gonna turn around and everybody is gonna be whispering, laughing, and talking, she said, like a circus freak. Although she's had multiple procedures over the year, the actress said it's a stressful experience. I don't like surgery. My body does not react well to general anesthesia. She said, adding, it's a very big deal when she goes into surgery. I'm very afraid of general anesthesia, she admitted, telling Cooper that she grills her doctors if they've seen any omens, if they saw any owls, crows, if anybody stepped on a spider. If you have a fight with your wife, do not come in for surgery. I go through all of these protocols. At the end of the day, surgery is a very traumatizing experience for Megan Fox. What about you guys? Are you a fan of cosmetic surgeries? What do you feel celebrities should be doing?